Snapshot 23w45a is here with the new experimental trial chambers with their trial spawners and the, the breeze mob, as well as other changes and fixes. My name is Sly Slime and I'm here to show you all the changes. Let's start with the trial chambers and with a reminder that all this stuff only exists if you have enabled the update 121 experiment when creating the world. Trial chambers are new structures that generate underground in all overworld biomes, starting at heights between negative 40 and negative 20. They're pretty common, they're made out of copper blocks and tough, including the new ones introduced a few weeks ago. They vary in size and are all procedurally generated, including corridors leading to different challenge rooms. In the corridors you can find supply chests with things needed for the coming battle, and decorated pots with random supplies, including a very small chance of containing a diamond block. In the challenge rooms themselves you will find reward chests, but also challenges to defeat in order to access those rewards. The contents of the reward chests are not final. There are also traps, including dispensers with arrows in the corridors and dispensers with many different potential items in the chambers, including arrows, snowballs, eggs, fire charges, various splash potions and various lingering potions. Each trial chamber structure has three specific mobs selected from categories. A melee mob, a small melee mob and a ranged mob. Melee mobs are selected from zombies, husks and slimes. The small melee mob is either spiders, cave spiders, baby zombies or silverfish. And finally, the ranged mob is either skeletons, strays or skeletons equipped with poison tipped arrows. Each trial chamber structure only has one of each of those, so for instance one whole structure might use husks as melee mobs, cave spiders as small melee and strays as ranged mobs. All the spawners in that structure will then use those types. There are also spawners that always spawn the same type of mob, the new breeze. More on that later. One thing to note here is that regular mob spawning does not happen inside the bounding boxes of the trial chamber pieces, so the only mobs you'll encounter are those from the trial spawners. So let's talk about those trial spawners. The trial spawner is a new type of spawner block that is different from the regular monster spawner in several important ways. The number of mobs spawned by a trial spawner is not fixed. Depending on how many players in survival or adventure mode are nearby, the level of challenge will increase. Mobs spawn in line of sight from the spawner and regardless of the normal light level requirement for those mobs. All mobs spawned by trial spawner are also persistent and will not despawn. Every time the trial spawner detects a new player nearby, the challenge level will increase. It'll then stay at that level until the encounter has been completed by killing all the mobs. When all the mobs have been defeated, the trial spawner will eject a reward and then go into a cooldown mode for 30 minutes before becoming available for another round of fighting. Those rewards are a 50% chance of a supply item and a 50% chance of getting a new item called a trial key. The rewards are also scaled up by the number of players involved in the encounter and all players get the same type of loot. So if one player gets a trial key, everyone will get a trial key. Those keys then, they have no functionality yet. Trial spawners are very hard to break, taking 250 seconds to break or more than 4 minutes. It also doesn't have a correct tool, so the time stays the same regardless of tools and enchantments. If you do break them, they drop nothing and unlike regular spawners you also don't get any XP drops. Trial spawners can only be found in trial chambers. If you place them in creative mode, just like regular spawners they have no mob type by default, and you can set one by interacting with a spawn egg. This snapshot also adds the breeze mob. Breezes are hostile mobs with 30 health, that is 15 hearts, which only spawn from trial spawners in trial chambers, it does not spawn naturally. The breeze moves around by sliding and leaping, where a leap can cover quite long distances. It attacks using a ranged attack called a wind charge. This projectile deals a small amount of damage on impact but also causes an explosion called a wind burst when it hits either an entity or a block. Wind bursts do not damage blocks but knocks back entities in the area several blocks. They can also activate certain redstone activated blocks including opening or closing doors, trapdoors and fence gates, toggling levers, pressing buttons and ringing bells. Windbursts can also extinguish candles, including those placed in cakes. 
Iron doors and trapdoors do not get affected by wind bursts, and neither do blocks that are held open or closed by means of a redstone signal. The breeze also cannot be hit by arrows or tridents. When killed, the breeze stops 5 experience points, but no loot. That was a lot of experimental stuff. There's still more changes for us to cover, but if you're with me this far into the video, thanks for that, and please do click the like button. YouTube's weird algorithm eats that stuff up like candy, so it really helps out, and these videos take a huge amount of time and effort to make. Thank you. This version also includes bug fixes for the experimental blocks and items already introduced. Copper bulbs now interact correctly with water and light, and now coal things behind them properly. Copper grates no longer allow mobs spawning on top and no longer suffocate mobs who end up with their face inside them. Let's stick with your experimental stuff for just a little longer and talk about sounds. There are new sounds in this version for the trial spawner. Ambient noises. It's detecting a player. Spawning a mob. It opening up. Closing down. And of course, sounds for placing it. Breaking it. And walking on it. The breeze has idle sounds. Idle sounds while in the air. An inhaling sound. Jump sound. Landing. Sliding. Shooting. A wind burst exploding. For hurting. And for dying. And a bug fix. Copper doors and trapdoors now make copper sounds when placed or broken. Let's talk about gameplay fixes in this version. Drown spawners now work regardless of which biome they're placed in. Previously, they would only work in biomes where drowned could spawn naturally. Punching a TNT cart in creative mode no longer drops the cart in item form. And when crafting a clock or compass, the output slot no longer functions like a fully made clock or compass, so you'll now need to actually craft it before you can use it. This also goes for the output preview slot in a crafter. This version also comes with new data pack and resource pack versions. They're pretty small, so let's run through them quickly here. Resource Pack version 21 upgrades the Unifont library used by the game to version 15.1.04. The texture format now only supports PNG file, and new textures have been added for the Breeze, Trial Spawners, and Trial Keys. There's also a new shader called Breeze Wind. Data Pack version 24 comes with the definitions for Breeze, Trial Spawner, and Trial Chamber files in the Experimental Pack, as well as a noteworthy change in the Jigsaw structure type where the maximum depth of generation specified by the size value has been raised from 7 to 20. There are three new particle types, Gust, Gust Dust, and the Trial Spawner Detection. There are also bug fixes for commands, where trying to grant an already granted advancement now prints an error message again, text components now properly error for malformed JSON input, and using the fill command for spawners no longer causes the NBT data of those spawners to become linked. Finally, this version comes with stability fixes and will no longer nuke your server list and saved hotbar files when it starts, raid and random sequence data now saves properly again, and if you logged out while writing some entity, that entity is now properly upgraded to the current version when loading back in. And that's all for this snapshot. My name is Sly Slime, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.